What is going on SoFi fans? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today I want to talk to you about this upcoming week, things that you need to know and where SoFi might be going, go over some updated data points and ultimately talk on what big money is doing with SoFi. Before I get into any of that, making sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe is always greatly appreciated. With that though, let's get right to it. So as far as economic data, this week is a little bit more of an abnormality. There's nothing really coming this week that will cause a lot of volatility within SoFi. So overall, I do personally feel it's just going to fall back onto the technicals, which on the technical stance, everything is very, very oversold. So even stochastic is currently at six, momentum is negative two. So retail presence has really taken a dive recently because of the larger fear, because you do get a lot of individuals such as Jim Cramer talking about, ultimately we're just going to deteriorate, the Feds are just going to destroy the market. You also get Michael Burry, who's basically been predicting the end of the world for a very long time. But despite all of that fear though, I think the technical will give us a nice little boost this week, especially like I said, because there is no real economic data that could cause a little bit more volatility within SoFi. That's my own two cents. Keep in mind, I'm not a financial advisor, so do your own due diligence at the end of the day. But like I always say, despite whoever's talking, whether it be Jim Cramer or whoever, or even Michael Burry, there still is a huge amount of institutional presence getting into SoFi. So this is the transactions just from Friday from the dark pool. So the last one was 1.66 million after hours and typically after hours on a Friday is very dead silent which rightfully so nobody necessarily gets into a stock Friday after hours it is what it is but still regardless of that Friday there was a huge amount of institutions purchasing getting into SoFi so that's a very big deal and one thing I just wanted to mention is typically a lot of people assume that shorts are closing out the positions at the end of the day uh, through the dark pool in reality I watched the dark pool transactions and and also coincide that with short interest and that isn't the case so someone buying that 1.66 million dollar order is not shorts closing out the position so I just wanted to say that as a little bit more of a disclaimer because every time I have posted that a lot of people assume that it's just shorts covering but it's not so regardless of that though another thing that is happening behind the scenes is options activity so updated information as of Q2 2022 total calls 36.79 million calls are being held by all 13 F filers. That is a absolutely insane. That's a massive amount. It is down roughly about 7% from the quarter prior, but still 36.79 million is substantial. 8.506 million from just hedge funds. So clearly a lot of big money still sees a lot of upside potential with SoFi. And based on what I've seen, obviously to go through all of these is a huge amount of astronomical work. But generally speaking, I think most of these are very long-term calls. Obviously, they do play the short-term game quite often just to get some profit from uh, obviously the volatility, but most of these are very long-term. So again, it goes back to my point why I say every single video, you need to think long-term when it comes down to SoFi because institutions are doing that. And even like I've been saying right here, number of retail investors have been getting out because largely because of fear. And so when retail does sell, we get a huge amount of interest institutions lining up to buy those available shares. Again, it's one of those things, this is only for entertainment purposes. So make sure you guys do your own due diligence. If you find no relevance in what big money is doing, then don't pay attention to this aspect. Just wanted to go over some actual technicals on where we might be going for this upcoming week. Like I said, we are very much oversold, both on the RSI and stochastic momentum. Clearly a lot of fear still in the market from the retail standpoint. On the actual chart though, we did have a little bit more of a red day, but we sat on a exactly where the S1 is, more so on the Fibonacci. So right here, $7.71. So we did bounce off of that exactly. So in reality, next week, we should have a nice little good momentum going, especially based on the technicals and no economic data. More so at the end of the week, though, probably Thursday, Friday, you're going to see a lot more fear being brought back up because CPI is the following week. I believe it is on the 13th. So that's something you just need to factor in. Hopefully, if we can get over to this pivot point of $6.75, we should hopefully trend higher but based on the technicals things are looking a little bit more neutral um, so in reality it's a good time to buy in my own two cents especially if you do have a long-term time horizon and I just want to give you one final parting gift and go over some short information so as of right now 
it looks like the short interest is currently 15.86. Shorts did close out 260,000 shares on Friday. So it is what it is. I think the dependency and the relevance for short interest is still there. But as far as a short squeeze, I think that's starting to disappear in my own two cents, especially with the utilization dropping as much as it has been. And uh, cost of borrow also is 1.67. So in reality, that's also dropping too. So with all that though, let me know your thoughts on SoFi in the comments below. Also, what your plan is for this week. If you're going to be buying, just holding, whatever it might be, give yourself a shout out and let me know in the comments below. But like I said, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe is always greatly appreciated. And with that said, I appreciate you guys watching and let's all make a lot of money on SoFi.